This video is sponsored by the JVOS Mindset. It's a new way of thinking of jujitsu. Click the link in the description and get your copy today. Welcome to the Master Plan Lecture Series. My name is Javier Vasquez. In this video, I want to talk about what is JVOS. I want to discuss some basic principles and the basic groups that are within the JVOS operating system. So let's get started here as to what is JVOS. So JVOS is a new way of thinking. It is a language. It improves your decision making. It is an expression of feeling and it maximizes efficiency. So what does it mean for it to be a new way of thinking? Well, traditionally in jujitsu, you are taught a set of moves. You're kind of taught from specific positions. Here's how you do this. Here's how you do that. But it doesn't ultimately explain the overall goal and attack strategy from a particular position. Most instructors don't cover it that way. And most importantly, the things that work the best aren't covered first, which is the way I like to approach things. I like to teach the things that work the best and work most frequently first, which I call the central path. Now, a language is a way to transmit information, to transfer knowledge. So I've tried to, within this framework, explain the mindset behind what I do. I'm trying to, through language, express the mindset in which I am thinking through this lens in order to perform jiu-jitsu or to do jiu-jitsu. So JVOS improves your decision making. So what does that mean? That means that when faced with binary choices, which we will cover in a different video, there's, uh, there are obvious choices and decisions that you make in a, in a moment by moment basis. So my goal through JVOS is to get you guys to make the correct decision more frequently, if not always. And when you're making good decisions over time, you will, ha you will gain success and you will have a positive reinforcement and po positive outcomes to what you're doing. So improving your decision making might kind of seem very surface level, but we start following patterns and following strategical um, game plans in order to help you think differently and in which will, it will help you make better decisions. An expression of feeling. So one of the things that Hicks and Gracie talks about is connection and the ability to feel your opponent. This is all done through the breath and all done through a heightened sense of awareness and feeling. But words, from what I got from Hickson, it was he expresses connection. And then when I spoke with him several years later, I go, well, there's different kinds of connections. And he looked at me, he goes, yes. So what I've tried to do is give you guys a set of tools and words that will better define what connection is and what it means. And the last thing here is maximizing efficiency. And what does that mean? Well, if you're making the best choices all along, you're going to be conserving energy because you are choosing the better choice. And what makes the better choice? Well, there's, a, there's several things that make one choice better than the other, whether it makes things looser or tighter, whether from a strategic standpoint, it gives you an advantage, whether by making a particular choice, you're able to breathe and recover, for, uh, by making a particular choice, you're able to advance or not advance. So a lot of these choices are binary choices, but understand that the types of choices that I'm putting forth will overall maximize your efficiency. So there are four groups. I've tried to do this a few different ways. I think that this current iteration makes the most sense. So I break JVOS down into four groups. It is a tremendous amount of information. It is a large course, so I'm trying to simplify it as best I can. So the first group is the internal mindset. The second group is feel. The third group are the laws of nature. And the fourth group is the mind and body connection. So if you look at two of the four groups, the mindset, it's the mind, it's what's happening inside of you 
that is most important here. Of course, we have feel and the laws of nature, but your approach to feel and the laws of nature have a huge impact on what your end result will eventually be. So within the internal mindset, we have keys to the kingdom. We also have strategical tools, philosophical tools, psychological tools. Under the feel, we have connection and disconnection. Under the laws of nature, we have timing and physical. Under mind and body connection, we have recovery, breath work, fatigue generation, behavior generation, and mind work. So every one of these words, keys to the kingdom, strategic, strategical tools, philosophical tools, each one of those within those groups, there are individual terms which express that group. And then within the JVOS course, we go into the positions following under, or understanding the utilization of those terms in a live application. So this kind of gives you a deeper understanding of what you're actually doing. So that's it for this video. Again, I'm going to be trying to break this down piece by piece for you guys in order for you guys to really try and comprehend what is what JVOS is. And I believe that JVOS will change jujitsu forever. This mindset, this combination of ideas, these terms will help you get a deeper understanding in your mind of what jujitsu is and how to apply it in the most efficient way possible. If you like this video, smash the like button. If you have value or have questions in what I'm saying, go ahead and leave a comment down below. I will respond to your comment. Again, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you soon.